Not even, not even a mother and father. When there's a father in the house, the kid comes out better. When it's a single mom, the kid comes, comes out worse. If it's both families, it's like, I mean, if it's both parents, then it's like... Hit or miss? It, no, no, no. Then it's, then it's just like having one father. Oh, yeah, yeah, At the end of the day, what, it, what is most important is that the father... Is there in the household. The father is in the household because we put the discipline I on I believe him. that. Yeah. We make sure that the foot is put down whenever some shit goes down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Welcome was, to Talks to with Fran Jazz. We've been recording this whole time? We've been recording. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No, no, no. Maybe for like, like one minute. Right, Maybe cool. for like one minute when, when you, when you started talking like about good. the family structure. Okay, cool. That's, cool. that's, cool. that's when we started. I like the family structure. So like, <laughs> yeah. he, like Ronnie was saying just now, he just yeah, put me just on. He you was think? saying that um, statistically... <laughs> The household. The household is better when at least the father is in the household. It could be single father, both parents, or that's it. But like, if it's just the mother, that raises statistically like you're more likely to go to jail. You're more likely to not go to college. All these different things. Like if if it's just the mom in the house, like if it's a single mom, and I come from a single mom home, so. No, that's that's definitely true. And I fall in the closet. And I fall, <laughs> I, I fall into a lot of those statistics. <laughs> no, I, I actually I appreciate that because I got a fourteen year old, so I'm like I'm on top of her. Me and her mother are not together. Right. You know what I'm saying I try to keep it together with her. Though. Years ago, but we best friends, so we good. It is what it is. And we co-parent real well, so yeah. it works out. That's so, good. You know, I'm in the building. You know, she's lived with me on and off with me and her mother separately. You know what I'm saying? So. But you're really a part of it. You. You're oh, really active time. in your, oh, your daughter's she life. Me, yes, she was supposed to be my AD yesterday. She broke out on me. That's fine. <laughs> but, but, he and, got her working. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody was supposed to be, you know, I was trying to get, I should make an earlier call time next time. But because she was just waiting there, but she got bored. You know how these kids Of course, are. of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's it. Yeah. 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 It's all good. So yeah, I agree 100%. Family structure is important because... You, you are what you know. So if you grew up in that family structure, of course. what's normal to you is family structure. Yeah. Not a broken home. A broken home, if you're used to that, then you're used to that. That's, right. That's why when I was telling you earlier, like if, I, you know, if I'm dating a chick, and like now that's why I've been single for three years, I told you, I got used to it, I'm happy, whatever. But whenever I start talking to a female, the kid's situation comes up. And I'm like, I'm not really too crazy about having the kids right now. My daughter's 14. No need to start really over. I don't really want to start over. No and on to top of over. that, like, I already did that, you know, me and my baby moms are not together. My daughter's going back and forth. Right, right. I don't want to do that, you know. And I, with my experience, nothing lasts forever. You know what I'm saying? So I especially, just want to bring another, you know. Especially these days. That, that's my exact reason for never wanting kids. I, I said this as soon as I had my daughter. We broke up, which was a year later. And I said, I would never put a child through this again because the child suffers. The, 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 the parents are stupid. Whatever the hell happened, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah, happened, yeah, yeah. You, you, the, the, the child is suffering. So I'm like, why would I want to risk another broken home? That's what that's where I stand. I wish you more dog. I wish you yeah. a year later, bro. The same a thing. year later. You got that phone call. <laughs> <laughs> Columbia. <laughs> she wanna call me on my international Yo. phone Yo. around my birthday. Yo. Yo. Crying. My bad Dust. That's a happy yeah. birthday. Yeah. That's a happy I birthday. Love you, <laughs> Cry like, Yo. Who oh, you think we meant to be? I'm like, oh, this is it. On your birthday, bro? <laughs> on your birthday? Around that time. On your I was birthday? out there for my birthday. Oh, man. You think we meant to be? I'm like, what's going on? All right, listen. He's either this motherfucker is either in your school or you work with him. <laughs> oh, there's nobody. All right, bitch. Yeah, yeah. I know what the deal is. But uh, <laughs> I was Columbia though. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, the, the, I was the, Columbia yo, though. Yo, bust, bust this out. I ain't man. been out there yet. On my birthday, uh -huh. maybe the day before, two days before that conversation, I got these people taking me down to the strip. We in Cartago, and they got this strip. All yo, they showing me joints. Thirty thousand pesos is fifteen American dollars. Okay, for an hour. What you get? Somebody what looks you like get, Shakira. What you get for thirty thousand pesos? Shakira, so. baby. Woo! Talking yeah. about. I don't know if I can say no to that deal. Uh, yeah, they was like, and then I was like, yo, I was just walking. I'm like, nah. I bet you know what it was. I I was fucking up in a relationship, and I was so <laughs> focused. I'm going. I'm going back to my baby moms. I'm gonna yeah, make this work. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be a dad. I'm gonna yeah, be this. I'm gonna make. Yeah. I'm gonna make this happen with my baby moms. You know, I'm gonna fix it. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have sex again. But them thirty thousand pesos. <laughs> so. And then you know, I'm like, fuck, man, I had Shakira right there. And, and, and then you know, after she broke up with me a couple of days later, I'm like, I'm about to go back over there. Like, don't go by yourself because you might. Put Yo, your hand down there. $15, though? $15 to 30,000 pesos. Is this recent? 
This is 2009. 14 years okay, ago. 14 years ago. 2009, 2010. They probably up now since Instagram and, and Twitter. Well, and yeah, but it's still going to be like, our money runs really deep. In, in inflation. It's probably double the price. I need to get on my Airbnb. About $30, bro? Yeah, yeah. It's see double. It's see, inflation. See what's going on. See, see what's going but on. But whatever you Columbia. do, do not, they, they warned me. They said, you know, the people I was around where they were like, do not go over there by yourself. Right, you get robbed. No, it's not even about that, bro. You'll get robbed for your money in, in the sense that you, you reach down and you have a whole handful of webble in your hand. You know what I'm saying? Oh. These bitches be looking like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, man. surgery is well yeah, out there. Yeah, bro. And be like, oh, shit. Jeez. It's God. too late. You're already here. God All right, so. <laughs> holes is holes. Holes is holes. Fuck it. Nah, it's terrible, bro. Wow. wow. That's, That's sick. That's funny. That's what, 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 what town was you in? What city was you in? I was in uh, Cartago. I've never even heard of that. I don't know that one. I always say got the hand now. Yeah, because and I Medellin. Go Medellin, or I hear Medellin, the, yeah. what the beat. Well, Pereira, you had, um, uh, shit, I know what you're talking about with the B. Um, oh, Bogota? You got Bogota as the capital. Bogota, uh, Medellin. From Bogota, you go out to whatever. Medellin Cali. is a big city. Cali, I went to Cali. There's another one, though. There's another one that's more uh, known. Barranquilla. Barranquilla, that's the one I meant. That's the one I meant, Barranquilla. It's a beautiful country. Uh, but where I was staying at was some um, people there, and it was in Cartago, so it was like a smaller town outside of the cities. So it was like a real dope ass vibe, bro. Mm. Like you know, it was like a small time colonial shit vibe. Women were beautiful. The steaks you take a woman for a steak dinner, bro. Literally American dollars is cost you twenty dollars to take this woman out. For a, I took out a hundred dollars cash, which was two hundred thousand pesos. I went to a club, pop bottles, chilled. I was that, I was that man. And came home, cab coming back home, and I still had money. You was fucking. You and was, I was that. I was that was, dude. You was the baller. I was that dude. Yeah, he was balling. I don't feel like that over here, obviously. Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> Not on $100. If I don't want to feel like that, if I want to feel like that, man, yeah. I'm going to Columbia, bro. Yeah, nah, I hear that shit. In 2023, $100 ain't getting you nothing over here. Not, not in New York. Not, not even a dinner. Oh, days. man. Unless you that's like not Apple dinner and drinks. Yeah, shit. that's not dinner and drinks. Yeah. Yeah, it's appetizers and two beers. Yeah, yeah, Dang. not even Applebee's. Like, you know, I'm like, yo, girl, we gonna go. Oh, let's do something simple. Like, yo, let's go to BBQs right here. You know, what I mean? <laughs> go to BBQs. I'm just ordering. Yo, wings. not for nothing. The honey, wait, the honey, the the fucking oh, Hennessy fuck wings. The, BBQs, the bro. Hennessy wings, bro. Listen, yeah, if a girl yeah, doesn't want to go on a date with you, BBQs, leave her alone. Facts. I think BBQs is dope. We can Facts. get nice with those big ass sexes. <laughs> <laughs> get fucked up with those shit. I love when a woman's really simple and really kind hearted, genuine. Mm -hmm. I can fuck with that. That's a turn. That's another one. So, so, so girls don't want to go, you think, because it's not classy enough? What do you know. think it is? I don't know. Nobody's ever really denied me yet. Oh, that's oh, a good okay. thing, though. Because good, good. what that means to me is that she's really genuinely into you. Right? Yeah. Like if, if a chick only wants to go to you, go, yeah. go and, and, and go to a dinner with you if it's a Michelin star restaurant. Yeah. Then that's because of the fact that yeah. she's not really it. She's look, she's looking for a free dinner at a nice spot to she Instagram it. Hundred percent. You feel me? But if she's down to go to BBQs and get some Texas size and some fucking okay. Hennessy wings, yeah, you know she's really there for the company. You know, hundred percent. So much about the free dinner. All right, with that. Right. Yeah. So that's a good Yo. thing. Don't be denying me yet. Yeah, bro. I'm waiting for that first and now. Like, oh shit, I gotta go pick up my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I have an emergency. She's got the shit. She's got the squirties. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. That's yeah, hilarious. I mean, I took a girl out. She ain't gonna watch. We'll see. I don't know. Who who knows? You know, people could come across this shit. This is gonna be a dope show. Um, I did take. I did meet a girl on Instagram. Mm -hmm. She was a cutie, bro. Um, so here's the story: we meet up. Blah, 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 we finally meet up. We meet up at Fulton Projects. That's where my family's from on my mom's side. We have family from Fulton Projects, okay. Chelsea, in Brooklyn. Yo, no, Brooklyn? That's, that's downtown that's... Uh, 9th and Seventeenth Street. Okay, but my oh, mom's exactly. family. Living yeah, there. yeah, yeah so my mom's living there. I got family. So we from the Bronx. <laughs> They, we were all from Melrose Projects for my mom, but that side of the family moved to Chelsea over there for in projects. That's where the Marlon Wayne's fam, the Wayne's family's oh, from. They from over there? I used to see them in Carida all the time. Yo, love you guys. Yeah, oh, yeah. yes. Okay, Damon Wayne. Okay, from the last episode. Oh. The Wayne family, you guys, I love you guys. Um, you guys were eating at a Carida restaurant. I was that little kid that was banging on the window. <laughs> <laughs> Carida on 9th Avenue, <laughs> off of 18th Street. That was me. Probably was like, yo, this kid's going to be on coke when he gets older. <laughs> you were right. You were right. You were right. <laughs> Full and chin check. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, we, yo. she meets me over there. My cousin's out, yo, I want to see this girl. So everybody's staying outside. My cousin take this cologne upstairs. She comes through. The first thing you get in the car, she gives me a kiss on my lips. I'm like, okay. 
She's already breaking the ice. Really yeah, 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 yeah. I take her to the High Line. It's like a, a train railroad thing. Yeah, that shit thing. is fire, you know bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a little, it's a nice little date spot my right man, there, bro. bro you the date get, spot right there, bro. I, listen, that's my shit. If I'm taking you on a date, I'm trying to keep, you know, look, I'm a starving artist. Don't let the right. money fool you. Right, 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 right. right. No, no, no. That shit is dope. You get a little bottle from the liquor store. You do a little mix up. You just <laughs> walk, on the, walk on the High Line. You did that shit before? Of course, nah. of yeah, course, of course. I even brought my daughter up there. You have a date and you have an extra, you need an extra. Let me know. I got you. I got you. I got you. I'm that guy, man. I'll make that fun. We go to the railroad and all that there shit. There you go. Did that. Say, yo, boom, boom. Say, you know what? Why don't we do um, BBQs? Fire. So now I'm about to fall in love with this bitch because while we're walking, <laughs> BBQ, remember, the High Line's on 10th Avenue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. BBQs is on 8th and 8, 23rd. 8th and 23rd, yep, yep. We walking, the bus opens, the back door opens. I grab her and she does not hesitate to jump on that bus. That's right. fire, bro. She don't even need the Uber. When? <laughs> Had the honey wings, some drink, getting nice, talking some shit, laughing. I'm going to the bathroom. Blink, blam, blam. <laughs> My nigga will. Coming back up. There you go. <laughs> ready to go. Are you ready to laugh? Beam it, beam it. <laughs> I'm crazy. You know? Get it out. We walk back to the, we walk down 9th Avenue. Yo. My man Henry works at this, he's the, the head man at this, uh, uh, it's off of 9th Avenue between 18th and 9th. Forgot the place, but it's so beautiful, bro. We go in there. My man had me... A restaurant? What is it, a bar? It's like a bar. It's okay. a bar, like a, like a speakeasy, but it's really dark type of, you know, downtown yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah. He's like, yo, you want the the the, the, the s'mores? I'm like, you want s'mores? He's like, I'm not really hungry. Neither am I. I'm on coke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a dietary supplement. <laughs> on a dietary... It's, it's a part of your diet. It's dude, we had all this going on. Went to the car... Went to the West Side Highway, UPS, big ass <laughs> warehouse, off of Fifty Something Street, mm-hmm. 12th Avenue. Mm-hmm. You already know what's going on. It down. went down. It went down. Yeah, it went down. Sheesh. And then somebody's walking down. It went down. I'm like, yo, but no, that's it, you know? <laughs> I thought this was it. I thought this was my next relationship. Damn. Damn. It wasn't. Bitch. Right. <laughs> Damn. That's what did you saying. learn from that? Um, excuse me. Can't trust these hoes. There you go. Hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We don't know what the fuck is going on nowadays. These hoes days. is choppy. These hoes is choppy out there. <laughs> <laughs> these hoes is choppy. You seen that? You seen that? I love that video. Yo, bro, these hoes is choppy. Yeah, it's crazy. Fuck you gonna give me? Word. Yeah, it's like, what's going on? I went to, yeah, I went to BBQ's uh, probably like a year ago, I think it was, on a date. Little Egyptian joint, little 23-year-old cutie. Definitely cutie, and she was with it. She was cool with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a story like yours. Right? <laughs> no, no. I mean, you know, it went down and everything, but like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but it wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't super animated like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 you good. You good. You'd be fucking crazy with the buddy. <laughs> we, had, we, had, we had the Hennessy wings, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was dope because, like, you know, she got bread and, you know, she got a lot of dudes that was tricking on her. So it was cool that oh. she was like down to go to the BBQs, you know what I'm saying, and just get some regular food. BBL or no BBL? Nah, no BBL. No yeah. BBL. Egyptian joint. She wasn't really into that kind of shit. I mean, maybe she is now. Yeah, I don't you know. an Egyptian? Yo, this motherfucker is a fly ass. Nah, nah. I'm, I'm, I'm low. I'm low. Yeah, low key fly. I'm low. I'm low. I'm low. Yeah, I'm low. That, that, that's exotic. Saying? That's definitely exotic. Yeah, she was cool. You know what I'm saying? She was a good girl in her way. She was 23, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it worked out horribly. You know what it is that, like, at the end of the day, we in a different age now, right? We're like 23 years old, cute girl. She's going to have a million people. She had like 200 messages that she didn't read on her on her phone and her DMs, all this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like that many guys is hitting you up. Yeah, of course. Dick pics and all that shit. Yeah, it's like it's hard to really keep a woman like that attention. But not even attention. It's like she wants a lot of different things because a lot of dudes is coming at her, offering her the world and giving her the world. You know what I'm saying? At 23 years old, she was on helicopter rides. This fucking and sucks, bro. A lot of shit. Sucks. Free you know vacations, saying? free meals, free, I mean, free but everything. But still down to go with me to, to BBQ, so it wasn't like she was. that's all she was about. But it's like... But it's a free meal also. It's not only just about the finances. It's also like the, the level of attention that a dude will show a girl like that. You know what I'm saying? That like... I'm from I'm from... I'm an OG, so it's like I'm not really going to be cupcaking and chasing you and doing... This is not how I... How I'm, I'm made, you know what I'm saying? And so they want to settle down in their late 40s and 50s. Right, 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 right. When they, they when they when they time is over, then they yeah, want to then they want to, like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? When they peak is over. They travel the whole world, yeah, got beat in every country. Yeah, got nah, slammed nah. down by everybody. Every country. Every, yeah, they got yeah, stories yeah. around the whole yeah, world. Yeah, now yeah, they want to settle down. Now they want to settle down when that when, when they time is up, really. You know what I'm saying? So 
I ain't got nothing to say about her. She was, you know, she a good girl, whatever. But like, it ain't work out. That's what know? it is. Yeah, I, get I was hoping it would have. She was bad. <laughs> <laughs> she was bad, but you know, it's not all about it. looks, right? Nah, nah, it definitely ain't. You My can't father go. always told me growing up. He said, "Pretty is is what pretty does. Pretty is is what pretty, pretty does. does. So like, it don't matter how bad she is, if she if, if she could be pretty as hell on the outside, but if she's Rotten on the inside Yeah You know what I'm saying Yeah And right. yeah I, I'm sure y'all both Experienced that a million oh. times You know what I'm saying Fuck So yeah. Looks ain't shit Right 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 Looks ain't shit Or Yeah I don't even know How to approach these hoes Sometimes man Cause this is a different world bro 100% different you know, world You could be like, like Dude cause I'm I'm a, I'm a big romance buff Get the fuck out of here, yeah. Yeah, but even not, bro. Yeah. I'm a sucker for love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sucker for love, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sucker for love, man. I'm not going to lie to you, man. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. hold you, bro. There you go. You know, I'm that, you know, you know sweetheart shit, try to do nice. And it's just, it, it's, it ain't, you know what it is, man? I'm carrying the same game I had when I was a kid. Teenager, basically. Yeah. And, you know. And what's that, that? that? Well, it's the. What you see on TV when we grew up. Well, you know, all that rom- rom- aggressive, aggressive shit. Rom-coms, yeah, rom-coms, yeah, bro. yeah, the rom coms and shit. You know, thinking that, you know, it's not it's not fairy tales, bro. It's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> this, yeah. this, this is crazy. Yeah, they are. They are. They want too much. They they expect too much. They value themselves ten times over their fucking uh, value. Over what no, they really are, no. yeah. They want too less. You talking so? about Oh, they don't want a long, long that term. Material thing is, what is it? You're gonna be bones and dust in the future, so you want the least. You don't want to actually have somebody there who's gonna fucking hold you down. Yo, That's bro, the most. bro, you want to know something? The that... most. Yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. Say no, 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 no. Finish your point. Finish no, your point. I didn't the... mean to cut you off. No, it doesn't matter. Wanting yeah. the most, it should be the most. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. Wanting somebody long term and somebody who's gonna hold you down and be there and be truthful to you. That should be the most. Over that is materials. right. Oh, yeah. That's a stack. Yeah. Yo, I seen a video recently where it was it was it was a it was a podcast and, and they was. Going around asking a bunch of the younger women, the cuties, you know what I'm saying, in their twenties, what would they rather? A sugar daddy that gives you twenty grand a month. <laughs> you seen it, right? A sugar daddy that gives you twenty grand a month, or a long term committed boyfriend that makes ninety grand a year. Guess they what they said? The, they went around the table, ten I different chicks. Go ahead. Guess what they said? No, oh, well, I saw the video. Uh, oh, you saw the it's yeah, a video? Yeah, 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 yeah. Social media. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Even as a guy, I'd take twenty grand. <laughs> But it goes back I to go, what you were saying. Yeah, I go gay for pay. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I go gay for pay. What he said, hoes is hoes. It is what it is. It is what it is. 20K is 20K. <laughs> 20, 20K a month is a lot. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. But if you have a long term committed boyfriend that makes only 90K, 90K which is not bad is money. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Good, that's good money. That's but good money's money. not supposed to matter, is this the moral of the story? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not supposed to matter. matter. It's the relationship. Real you're, shit. You're being they, a hoe. Instead of being in a serious relationship. Yeah, but they all, every single, it was like maybe anywhere between seven and, all and, and, and ten, all of them, every single one of them said they'd rather a $20,000 a month payday from a sugar daddy than a long-term committed boyfriend who is in love with you, who is going to hold you down, possibly go to marriage, 90K a, a year he makes. That's not enough. They don't want that. So, I mean, it's telling about the new generation coming up and where their head is at. Mindset. You feel me? Yeah, where do you get these bitches from? The South Bronx? Like, yeah. <laughs> like I think they was in Miami. Line. I think they was in Miami. Which is which is basically the South Bronx. Yeah, right. <laughs> basically the South Bronx. South Bronx. Basically. Yeah, yeah, that's where the bitches from the South Bronx go. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. You're taking the pictures at Miami Beach, but you know you're the, you know you in a fucking what's those shit? Airbnb down in fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever street that is. Yeah. Yeah. Down, yeah. Down downstairs. Yo, yeah. <laughs> Throwing a chancleta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. When's Go the last ahead. time you guys been to Miami? Oh shit. Never been. Never no been way. Miami? Get the fuck You're out from of the here. Bronx. You gotta go. I didn't know the Bronx was in Miami. Was <laughs> Had no idea. Scarface. You know about Another that. Another cocaine reference. You know about that. <laughs> you know about Scarface. It's one of the only reasons I'm gonna be on Miami. Yo, Miami Beach. I'm sweating profusely. You know? <laughs> Yo, Bob, what you sweating for? Right up there, <laughs> you know, for me, it was probably like 2000 and like 11, 10, something like that. Back in back in the day, I, Miami used to be the back, like the backyard. Like yeah, that's where we used to go all the time. For real? 
Yeah, yeah bro, that should be the backyard. Like, I fucking live life, bro. Yeah, I, I got family there, so I used to go so you, sometimes yeah, for family reasons, yeah. and you used to fuck with uh, also the kids. Yeah, cab, of course, of course. Call the cab. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Liddy boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I Shoot lost a pair of Versace glasses getting fucked up on <laughs> red when you call the cab. <laughs> Word, I lost them shits. I don't yeah. know where shits that to this day. Dope shits, white. With the with the with that, the boots on the side. That's, that's so a mon- right. that's somebody a monument. Right now, somebody out there, and everybody else watching, like, get the fuck out of here, B. Let me put it on his comment section. Yo, I got the facts. You want them facts? Yo, yeah, now nah, Miami was used to be fun, man. Yeah, yeah it's cool. It's, it's cool to experience. I want to check it out. It's definitely cool to experience. Little fucking boys trip out there. Why not? Shout out that uh that uh uh what was she uh Hawaiian and 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 black joint. That I, that I smashed out there. That was, that <laughs> Shout was, out. That was fine. I ain't gonna say her name, but Wine she was. and black, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was all right. Pineapples and fried chicken. <laughs> all day. Mm. All day. The throat smell like that, too. You know what I'm saying? Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Tasty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you crazy, bro. Yeah, nah, we used to have fun out there, man. Oh, that's baby. beautiful. Yeah. She's like, that's me. He's talking about. That's me. <laughs> my crew used to, we used to have a, uh, uh, one of the Miami Heat cheerleaders used to, like, we was cool with her. Nobody, I don't think nobody was smashing the crew. We was just, like, friendly with her and shit. And she had a condo out there in Miami. So we used to, like, when she would go away for, like, a couple months at a time, whatever, she was just like, yo, yo, pull up, give me, like, a thousand for the, for the condo. And the shit was dope. Luxury what? building and all that. So we used to pull up in the shit. She had a big ass loft. So it would be, like, two or three of the homies, four of the homies. Staying in the spot, mad different. Like you know, she had a bad different yeah. couches and shit. Shit was dope. Bring bring joints back to it. Parking lot, infinity pool. Shit was fire. Nice. So we used to be able to like you know just go out there on some just like Chill okay shit, yeah, yeah. Whenever she was free, she was like yo, if y'all want to come back out, just throw me a, a rack for the month and, and y'all good. A rack for the month. Yeah, and oh then like God. between three or four dudes. This is before a- Airbnb nothing, and all that yeah, shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, bro. We used to have a good time. <clears throat> for a Get a little rental. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody share the rental. Gonna you be out there in Miami like that or not? No, I haven't gone. I can't remember the last time. Yeah, see, it's been a while. I really can't been remember. Here too. Yeah. Been a while here, too. Dad's out in Orlando. Next, well, he's a kiss of me. Next time I go out there, I might as well make that drive. But that drive is long, I heard. Hell yeah, it is. Orlando to like Miami. three hours, I think? Yeah, four actually, hours? Yeah, it's definitely deep. I actually did that drive. The yeah. first time I went to me Miami, too. <laughs> we stayed in Orlando. <laughs> thinking, I don't know why. Me and the homies was like, yo, let's go to Universal Studios. We're going to chill in Orlando. We're going to have fun okay. out there. Yeah. Orlando, Orlando. If you're twenty, if you're in your twenty, early twenty, I don't know how it is now, but back then, yeah. your early twenties, you trying to club in Orlando. Yeah, I mean, it ain't really the best scene. You want to go to Miami, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So we ended up staying in. We booked everything in Orlando, and then literally after the first night, we was like, "Yo, we got to go to Miami." We hit up a home, a home girl that we knew, and we and we, and we drove out there and stayed out there for the rest of the trip because the shit was in Orlando was kind of slow. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Word. Uh, well, maybe it's better now. I don't know. It could be. Could be. Yeah, they probably got like better spots. Like yeah, yeah, they definitely got nice shit out there. But compared to Miami, yeah, it's, yeah, it's Miami's, night and day. Miami's it's right. night and day. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. I just say do both. Yeah. Literally, just do both. Yeah. <laughs> Figure out which one you like more. Right? That's it. Tampa was pretty cool. Right. 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 Yeah, Florida's pretty I don't cool. Never been out of Tampa. No, it's, it's pretty. You know what? Florida all together, as long as you're on the ocean. It's a pretty cool state. I like it down there. I don't know about moving down there at this age, so. And my aunt's moving out there now, and I'm like. A lot of people move to the floor. Yeah, usually it was the retirement state, but now everybody's moving yeah, out there nah. at a younger age. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, I don't I know what that's about. I like the fast pace, bro. New York City is where it's at. To do comedy, I don't think there's much out there. Nah, nah, I think if you're chasing if you're chasing anything in the creative fields, New York is dope. New York is where it's at. New York is yeah. dope. New York, LA, yeah. LA, maybe LA, maybe LA, LA, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe even I know Atlanta. Atlanta's coming up. Atlanta, I was yeah, saying that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was saying that next, next year. Yeah, Atlanta's coming up in the game. Word. Um, I wouldn't mind going out there, checking out Atlanta. I heard it's beautiful. I just came back from Tulum for the birthday. Oh, my man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know you'd be out there. Tulum, Mexico. <laughs> Mexico, Tulum, yeah, yeah, Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was out there, like, literally, like, came back, like, three or four days ago. How you liked it? That shit was fire. Bro. Yes, it is. Tulum is dope. Like, it, like I, I didn't turn up. Like, I, cause I've been to Cancun before. Cancun was turned up yeah, central. Turned up Cancun's a whole different. Cancun Cancun's whole, like a city. Shout out to the boobs cruise. <laughs> <laughs> In Cancun, I did that while I was out there. That shit was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, instead of a booze cruise, the boobs cruise. I let your imagination take the rest. You know I got it. I got yeah, it. It's yeah, locked yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. Fly yeah. That th- if you ever in Cancun, <laughs> check out the boobs crew. That's crazy. Like that. But yeah, not. But like, so we went out there for one day in Cancun. But like, most of the time we was in Saloon, which was real laid back. It was like I liked a lot. It I, is I, what it was is what I wanted and what I needed. 
Yeah. I didn't want to turn up and be bugging out every night. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it was more like laid back. We went out to the cenotes and, you know what I'm saying? Um, went out to a little private lagoon and shit. That shit was dope. That shit was Yeah. Dope. Tulum, was Tulum is chilling. Yeah. Chilling, you chilling. You out there, right? Hell yeah. Yeah. Even Playa del Carmen, you Playa been to that Carmen. one? Yeah, you stopped there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was actually in. It's um, nice. It's like it's like a mix of both. It's right. It's right, literally in the middle right, of them, right, and, right. and it's like a mix of both. It's not too city, but they, they got a dope ass nightlife. Right. You can safely walk the streets. Oh yeah, hop yeah, clubs. Yeah, yeah. The beach, everything. It's, it's nice. funny because when I was in Cancun years back, we got extorted by the cops like. No lie, like four times. We probably, nah. probably robbed us for like a thousand dollars in total. Nah, over four different times. Yeah, bro. When was uh, this? Many years ago. Yeah, this was probably like 2013, 2012, something like that. Wow. Um, and they was extorting us left and right. And we probably had a target on our back, walking around, you know, looking of fly, course. shit like that. You of know, course. Vacay, New York you know, shit. Yeah, yeah, New York shit. So, but um, doing but, extra. But this time, <laughs> right? This time it was totally different. This time it wasn't any like oh, no. any kind of bullshit with the cops. You know what I'm saying? It was cool. It was cool. What was out the extortion there. about though? Just bullshit. Like they would pull up on us one time. They they robbed us. They said, uh. Me, I was with two of my homies. They was like, yo, y'all was peeing in the street. If y'all don't give us each $100, then we taking y'all to jail, Mexican jail. We was like, what? We wasn't, we wasn't peeing in the street. Oh, we was wow. walking home from a club. And they was just, they was just like that. Wow. That's just a part of their scheme because they know if they, do, if they hit 30, 40 people like that throughout the night, they just made three bands for the night. That's fucking crazy. And, they, and you're going to pay it because who wants to sit in the fucking Mexican jail? Yeah, you feel me? So crazy. anyway, whatever. That's how that's how it was in Cancun. But T- Tulum wasn't like that recently. And maybe that was how it was back in the day. Who knows? Maybe. Yeah, you're either getting extorted or getting kidnapped for sex trafficking. Never mind that's, that. Yeah, fuck that. Stay away that's from scary shit, bro. Love you guys. Nah, nah, nah. Fuck that. Go out there. <laughs> hit, hit Tulum. Hit Tulum. Tulum is safe enough. I need uh, some. You know? I, my dad is not the Liam Nielsen. <laughs> on the taking shit On the taking shit Come uh, against you I'm with a Better <laughs> skills Find you Nah uh, Mexico is safe as hell It's beautiful, yeah, it the, beautiful be- the, 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 the people are beautiful Think about how big The country is yeah. And we Randomly hear Just the news That we right, The negative right, news right. We hear well, here. Of course, yeah of course They got that positive big time. You know what I'm saying How big that so country is And we hear those yeah, Random yeah, from, Sporadic coach, events I went to San Antonio yeah. Texas one time I was out there before It has yeah. a big like Mexican Hell yeah it does but like tribal Mexican right, with those, right, right. those flutes. It's like yeah. a whole bunch of flutes. Oh, it was Did you go to the uh, to the Alamo and to the River River Walk? I think it's I called. Had to, I was so long ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. was a kid actually with my mom. Yeah. Um, nice, nice. I know I went to like the space thing that they have out there. That's probably I didn't Houston. Go to that. I didn't go to that. I don't know. I don't Could know. have been Houston. Yeah. I went out to San Antonio once before. San Antonio was beautiful though. Yeah, I love San Antonio. Shout out to San Antonio. That was dope. That was a dope visit. Yeah, I know, man. Yeah, I mean, other than that, in Costa Rica, you guys should check Costa Rica. I've never been. I've been there twice. I just came back. Guanacaste is like we went. I don't know where that is. Guanacaste is where I went. I went to Rio Guanacaste, and I think it was like Costa Ricans for whatever reason are like so happy. Pura vida. Yeah, pura vida. They have no military. They took all this funding from military and from whatever other shit there, and it's all in medicine and and schooling, bro. And so there's no military in Costa Rica, and wow, they really need it. <clears throat> Fucking the dopest visit I had, the broad that I went with was not, you know. <laughs> anybody want to go back to Costa Rica with me and make remake that, you know, visit better for me? <laughs> it would, it would, it would be appreciated. At that time, was like a nightmare. Jeez, uh, that's yes. the worst, bro. That's the worst when you want to vacate. How you gonna joint? argue on vacation? Yeah, that's what is trash, <laughs> so like, bro. Oh, pay, we pay for. White sand. I was like, white sand, but this is clear Costa Rican water. Yeah, that's that that sand is trash. Trash, trash in Costa Rica. No, but I'm giving everybody money. The homeboy's like, yo, papito, go all the way out there. You see where you can barely see? (laughs) You see where you can barely see? You go through like a little piece of jungle and you go to this beach that nobody is nothing owns. It's private. Mm. White crystal sand. You go through howling monkeys. You go, they start coming down. One of them slapped a fucking burger out of my fucking hand. <laughs> nah. Like while I was on the beach, the motherfucker slapped the whole shit out of me. I was like, this motherfucker, you don't even meet me. <laughs> Disrespectful. Um, right. And you thought I would get laid on that white sand. She was such a fucking... Grumpy. Prude. That's trash. I got, Bye, bitch. D- don't feel bad, though, because I got bad... Uh, I got I, Like, whenever I go out on a vacay with a chick, it's usually not the best experience. For some, for some reason, I do better when I'm with the homies and we just bag joints. 
versus like actually going on a vacation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know what that's about. You want to talk about it? That's a real thing. That's a yeah. real fucking thing. This time was better. This men, time was better. Salute. Men Salute was better. enjoy being around their friends more than their significant others. Yeah. That's yeah. real. That 100 percent That is real. We could be ourselves, we could chill, we could have fun. We're not worrying about acting like we're yeah. supposed to act. Right, right, right. You to have make more them fun. happy. Yeah. yeah. And not necessarily we got to just chill. gonna just cheat on you and do Not even necessarily shit. that. A, we got to just chill just and relax. He's going to cheat on you. He's going to cheat on you. He's definitely going to cheat on you. And, and no, real shit, she's going to cheat on him too. A hundred percent. If, she go, if uh, your girl I'm is going away on an all girls trip, Guarantee she's fucking with somebody else, bro. Something's going down at some point. They all wow, out there living their best life, quote unquote. You know what I'm saying? Sexy. Can't trust nobody. Yeah, don't trust them. Don't trust them if they doing the if they doing the girls I, trip. Shit, I recently had like I go to Puerto Rico. Like I told you we get the house in Dorado. And I go to Puerto Rico. I, it's not a vacation for me. It's home. Yeah. I go out there. I stay there two That's weeks fine. or better yeah, to feel fine. like I actually live there. I go to Walmart, do my shares, go yeah, to yeah. Cuchifrito, eat bakery Ooh. in the morning. Until I feel like I'm already living there before I come back to New York. Yeah. And I took this one, but she kind of invited herself. She was like, oh, I see you always going to Puerto Rico, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yeah, you could, you know, listen, you ever want to come out? I got extra room for you, but in reality, I was trying to get into my room. Of course. I got extra room for you. We got the pool in the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it. We're five minutes from the beach with a pool in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's go. Yeah, yeah. It was a nightmare. Yeah. I, I told her, well, you know, ended up, you know, I'm sorry. She's not going to watch this. I'm so hopefully not. <laughs> you know, ended up coming, you know, you know, with her kids and stuff like that, which is cool. You know, I got yeah. with the kids. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. How many? It was rough. Just right? two. Just How two. How old was they though? Was they like uh, one was 14, 12, 13? And then the other one was twenty. Yo, he's a gem. Oh, that, that's not him. that bad though, because at least they could like they can operate on their own. You know? yeah, it's a, it's yeah, a, a little weird. It's it's a little it's weird so though. It, yeah, because first of all, you didn't yo, wait, wait, but you guys were like dating because that's no, traveling I, with kids is crazy. Oh. Yeah, that is a little deep though. Oh. That's a little deep. So you said too much. <laughs> All right. Yeah, know, you know. Uh, you know. All right. You know. Nice, you know. nice. I, I remember. I remember you know clearly. Oh, bitch, I love her though. No, but that's crazy she to travel with kids. <laughs> How? Yo, I, three days before the vacation, I'm over here with my partner in the car. I'm like, she's like, yo, you should call her and tell her. So I'm like, hey, listen, <laughs> did you rent the car yet? No, I can't drive out there. What do you mean you can't drive out there? Yes, you wow. can. No, because I can go to back. Listen, the GPS is not leading you to the projects, to the caserios. <laughs> The GPS is going to take you where you need to go. I don't go out there. I don't do tourist thing when I go to Puerto Rico. Yeah, I've done that my yeah, whole yeah, life. Native shit. Yeah, yeah, I go yeah. out there to be a, a Puerto Rican. Yeah. That's nice. So that's the only way I can decom like decompress from all this New York shit and start getting on my writing. This is what I'm going out there for. Please, I'm not an Uber. And what, <laughs> and what happened? I was a fucking Uber. Damn, and then, bro. you know, one, and then she wanted to chastise me about my drinking. Oh. I'm drinking every day in Puerto Rico. You had, you on vacation. I get a big bottle of yeah, 151, yeah. and it lasts me yeah. long because I do the little coke with the 151. You don't need yeah. that much. Just Yo, like, Dr. Pepper is my yeah. thing with oh, 151. Yeah. Dr. Pepper. Oh, I never tried oh, that. Try and I, I know you need that. a little bit because yeah. I used to drink that, that for a few years. Yeah, 151. Yeah. You don't need that much. Yo, a splash nah. inside of a yeah. cup. And before you know, you're strong. So. You know, that was, I was like, oh, your drinking worries me. I'm like, yo, bitch, it's not like I'm being abusive. No, that's Here's the last part. She come lay with me in, in, in the bed for a little bit. We talking, having a good time. The, the, the dark. So I thought it was about to go down. I tried to do the move. I put my arm around. <laughs> yo, she got up like the other taker, bro. She said, I got to go to the other room. I was like, why? Uh, where are you going? I can't have my kids see me in the bed with another man. I was like, all right. Jesus, there goes my baby. you know what's you know what's whack about shit like that is like, I get it. At the end of the day, nobody has to do anything with anybody. Of but like, not. if you put yourself in certain positions, you want to vacate with a dude. You you're, in a, you're in another country. Come on, don't 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 go there if you're not trying to go there. You feel me? That's how I see That's it. So yeah. Unless we like strictly on some real friend shit and we are clearly friends and we talked about that a million times and like it is what it is. No, we never said that. That's what I'm saying. Like if that, if that's we not mutually flirt. established. We right. Right. So like if that's not mutually established, yo, don't fucking don't don't go don't take the three hundred dollar uh dinner date, you know, a friendly dinner date. Don't come out to Puerto Rico and fucking yeah. be at the crib and you know, it's like come on man, like that's doing too much. Some Definitely, real shit. Real shit. I had uh, to just tell my my niece the same shit. Like, she was at work. She just had a bad situation at work because she was 
really pretty girl in her early 20s and was accepting a lot of free gifts from this dude and, <laughs> and like he was taking her on dinners and taking her rides home and all that kind of shit and when she turned like when she finally told him like listen I'm not really interested in you like that it turned into a different thing and he started like you know what I'm saying shit started going left and I was and I had to tell her like yo don't accept shit yeah. if you not you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're not really interested in him, or so I'm not saying that you gotta have sex yeah. if you if you if you take this. But shit you away. know how he's taking it, right? But you yes. know what he's doing it for be leading, because you know where it's coming from, right? So don't, right? Don't right? Don't put yourself in that position because you can't. He's leading him, and be, oh, he's leading himself on. No, nah, 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 you, you nah. Take part in that. Too. And she was like, "Oh, I'm just taking it to be nice because he's being nice to me." I'm like, "Yeah, but you don't understand what his reaction is going to be when you turn him down. You can't dictate how he's going to act to that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's better for you to just not even accept it." Don't even open that door up. And that's what she should have did. Not yeah, open that door up. Open that door she up. wasn't trying to get the willy billy. <laughs> <laughs> just that the gifts. Why are you laying in the bed with me? The dark lights off. You know what I'm saying? Cookies. Uh, <laughs> you in your mode. Oh, no, you in your Why mode. Of course. Of course. I've never been. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, I want to go with you there. because yeah, I, I, I'm the that's... same way. I don't like going where the tourists are. Yeah, 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 I, want, I want to feel what it really is. Shit, I want the real I food. I want the real vibe. Exactly, the bro. real access to the beach. I, right, right. San Juan, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. San Juan is like being in the city, bro. So you want to be in the other pueblos and stuff like that. I'm going to go with you. Yeah, you go with your. Let's do it. Make that happen. Let's do it. You don't got to give me no ass. Don't worry. I want to let it be known him before you I book that flight yeah, I'm yeah. letting it be known you're not getting nothing <laughs> <laughs> nothing just friends yo I'll buy you dinner that's <laughs> it <laughs> just friends Willie nah man. but I appreciate you uh, just straight perfect perfect let's do it that's real shit <laughs> word yo so females dressing too sexy when you're in a relationship Oh, wow. Because we were just talking about those fake insinuations. You're coming out of vacation. What, what, what is really going on? Why are you dressing this way? Right. What do you think? <laughs> I, I personally, Attention. personally want to, uh, how you feel when you're in a relationship. Um, or, or even thinking of taking a female serious, but then... It's hashtag Scorpio season on this side, bro. So, <laughs> Y'all jealous, right? Jealous, Y'all be bro. jealous as fuck, yeah. bro. Y'all be bugging out. I'm not as bad as I used to be. Like, I can hold that motherfucker, but in the back of my head, I'm like, you yeah. have no idea I'm about to leave. You know? I, I just, damn, man, because I want you to feel comfortable and feel like you're natural self, but I don't really feel like you're being yourself, being a, looking like a scorpion on the street, having your shit all crazy out there. You know, be a woman, man. Like you, it's woman, it's for like attention, that. right? Like, I want you to be sexy. Don't it's get me wrong, for but there's levels to the sexiness. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. It's like we walking down the street. And you want to have your shit too crazy, and then wonder why. You know what I'm saying? And then you'd be surprised, bro. And you know, I ain't the type of person. Yo, you looking at my girl? I'm like, not that. You know what I'm saying? I'm 16 year old, Willie. You know, but you can provoke a conflict from a knucklehead who's drunk with his boys mm -hmm. and provoke some dumb shit because, and it's maybe not be your fault because guys shouldn't be that way, but we're living in a real world. So, right, how, you right. know, it's reality behind it. Hey, I'm going day. out with my man. Right. You know, I know I got this fat ass and big ass titties. Do I have to have a skirt that almost looks like my ass cheek about to come out? Nope. But see, look, here's the thing, right? Piggybacking off of what you're saying right now. It's like, all right, what women don't understand, and I'm going to say this real, like what women don't understand is that they can say, oh, yeah, I should be able to wear whatever I want. I'm doing it for I, me. I, I'm doing it for me, all these different things, right? But at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, you should be able to wear whatever you want, but we live in the real world, right? Like when I was living in the, when I was living in the, I, I used to have a, a crib that was in the hood, like yeah. in the hood hood, <laughs> right? And I moved in. I didn't know anybody around there, so I knew a couple of different things. Don't wear diamonds around these motherfuckers. Don't wear Don't red or blue. Around. Yeah. Don't be walking around with certain colors on. Don't be wearing minks and shit like that and, and, and flossing because you're going to get robbed. Yeah. In, the, in, the, in a perfect like world, that. Like that. in a perfect world, you know like you should be able to do whatever you want. Wear, like wear whatever you want. But if you put yourself in certain positions to get robbed or unfortunately to get uh, uh, manhandled by a guy, you know what I'm saying, if you're a female... You're wearing things you shouldn't be wearing. Like, it, it, this is real life. So, so just kind of piggyback over what you're saying is like, if your woman is is doing these kind of things, she should know that, like, there comes consequences yeah. with that. You know what I'm saying? And, like, 
if you want to wear that stuff, you're going to be treated a certain kind of way. Yes. Doesn't mean that it's right, but like that's that's just the world that we live in. Book by your cover if I'm wearing book. diamonds in the hood and I'm not from that hood right. and nobody knows me, I might get robbed. Right. So that's the, the the risk I'm taking by by putting myself out there wearing yeah. that shit. Oh. And that's a common theme out here right now with women that are like, oh, I should wear whatever I want. Yeah. This my body. It comes with shit. You know what I'm saying? It comes with consequences. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's it's, it's, it's somebody else's reaction. It's value. Men have certain dangers. Men have certain dangers. The diamonds are value. Right. So around poor people, you're showing off your value. They're gonna take they're it from take you. It. You're showing your value in the club, the right. horny men that are looking yeah, for that, that type that, of value. That, that, that's, you're wearing a certain thing. That's, that's the value I want. That's that's a a a Look how that's much of herself she's showing. Right. That's value right there. Right. I want right. that one. Look how much she's showing. She must want us to see. And if, right. you, if you're looking like every other chick that, that you know, unfortunately, like, I'm like, I'm not going to say no names, but you got these famous joints that came out of New York. They rappers, whatever the case for me, no names. Stripper shits looking like that in the center and third. And then you try to emulate that, right? That's something too, though. It's a, it's a part of the culture now, right? You go, you look at the red carpet, a list celebrities, females out here showing their titties and sheer and sheer dresses and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Or pasties and pushing the limit on the on the red carpet. Uh -huh. So like, it's a part of the culture at this point. It's you attention. You it push the limit more and more, you get more attention. Wow, you, you saw what they you saw, saw what they put on. Exactly. So you trying to go to Sasha right. go Fuego. Look <laughs> Exactly. Right. You know, you got Susie from down the block. <laughs> Jayla Wall is. Now, that's fashion over, bitch. That, that's not yeah. what you want. Know. And with all that being said, though, when it comes to the ladies that I date, honestly, I, I, I attract a certain kind of woman mm -hmm. who really, I, I mean, I, I'm just keeping it a stack. Yeah. They normally dress in a way that I want them to dress. Yeah. So whether it be that's like, what attracts like you, Susia, or whether I want her to be conservative, yeah, yeah. she's going to do it. For, because that's because she wants me. She wants me to be attracted to her. So like, what do you want me to wear? Is what the question I normally get. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. So, yeah. and sometimes I want them to look a little ratchet. You know what I'm saying? I want them to look, show a little scared. Yeah, I like because I'm a little freak like that. Sometimes you know I like that? You that's yeah. another. Yeah, that's another good question though. When you want her looking like that, it's only when you're with her, right? You wouldn't want her going to work like that. Hell no. Some girls go work like that. Yeah, Unless you get fucked by your boss on Bang Bros. That. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Straight movie in the back, yeah, yeah, and yeah, you man. dropping her off. Have yeah, a yeah, good, yeah, have yeah. a good shift, babe. Well, I mean, if she's going to, if she's going to the club to strip, maybe she should go to work like that. You know what I'm saying? That, if she's doing she's that, into. she's getting money. Yeah, right, right, right. right. And it's your fault for choosing a girl right. that's in that industry. Right, so. right, right, right. right. So you gotta fault. expect that. You gotta expect that. Yeah, nah, like hell no. Don't dress like that. If you man, had a girl that's a social worker. <laughs> and she's going to work. Or teachers. Or te teachers. Yo, how freaks, many teachers bro. you know right now on their gram? They fucking buy. Oh, teachers man, are freaks, bro. On a, low. on a low. On a low. But you a teacher? And the lower the grade that they teaching, the more freaky the they freaky are. Yo! yo, bro, this shit That's is real, facts. bro. This shit is real. Facts K this to five. <laughs> hey, yo, you, you already know. Sucias. You already know she's doing everything. Oh, everything. My God. Word. Shaking them fucking bottles with the, it's the firecrackers coming out. Like, she, oh my Send your god! <laughs> Yo, even Siri that's knows. Crazy. Even Siri knows. Yeah, Siri's, I'm gonna send that message. Siri's like, like fucking Siri's like every other woman. They want to listen when. They want to listen. <laughs> <laughs> and she wants to be in the conversation. Yeah, yeah right. I'm here, bitch. I'm she got to say something. Days. She got to say something. My AI ho. That's funny. My AI ho. That's your new AI shit. Uh, Chat GPT. I use it all the time. Chat GPT. Chat, Chat GPT. You never fucked with it. You never no, heard about it. That? Yo, bro. It's deep. It's AI where you can uh, have commands to it, and it replies with accurate information. Like you could say, like I got a business that I'm trying to start. Right. It's X Y Z. I'm. A, I want to spend this much money on my budget. I'm trying to do this kind of marketing, X, Y, all the, or you, you, you just throw in all the shit you want to throw in and say, write me a business plan. What? And the shit will write you a business plan. What you can say, yo, I got a story that I want to do. These are the characters. This is the main plot. Write me a story behind it that's, that's similar to Game of Thrones, and it'll do it. Chat GPT, bro. It's, it's, it's artificial intelligence. Change the world. And there's, there's so much more now. It's that scary. There's even... It's scary. It is scary. There's AI to create photos. The same way you put a description for yep. like a script, yep. you put a description of a photo and it creates the photo for right. you. It's I insane. I, I seen the, the, the AI shit where you can take a person who is acting, this is on some actor shit, who is acting in the scene and completely change their whole monologue with words that they didn't even say. Yeah, with their voice. With their voice. Yeah, they did that. I, I almost got scammed. It was my Komai. 
Damn, bro, no this way. Is real shit, bro. Instagram. So this I, real I, shit. Had my, I had I had my compaya of Angel. And I'm like, yo, come and because I'm I'm hitting her up on her Instagram, like, but the replies doesn't sound like my compaya. It's not, it don't make sense. But her voice said, Yeah, I just made three hundred dollars. It was her. What? It was her, her voice. Everything on this story sounds real, but it wasn't her. It wasn't her. You could tell it wasn't the right kind of responses based well, on her being who she is. Well, the response to the texting. Okay, but her voice and her face, everything was her. And when I hit her up, she was like, "That's not me." She got hacked. The girl, they they got this shit. Watch out! It could be you could be thinking that's your mom. Then it's really not your mom. It's your Bro, mom. Yo, these scammers is on. These scammers is using artificial this intelligence, AI shit, man. Scammers yeah. is using all, yo, bro. Scammers are using artificial that's intelligence. That's that's that was real. Instagram. That was Instagram. That's crazy. Like Jessica. That's I'm crazy. Up, I was like, yo, cause no, 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 no. Because I almost did. I was like, three for real, Komai, and she. Blah, blah, blah. And then when I there was a certain message, I gave it away. And it's always they want you to copy and paste the link. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Some you bullshit. Your own is not. Your own is not that, dealing with that, with links. Your, your homie is never going to ask you to do yeah, it. Yeah, your own. Your own is, about. Link, your aunt is not sending you a link. Yeah, they'll be like, "Yo, don't ever yeah. do it. Don't ever do it." That's, how wow. that's crazy, bro. I haven't got one of those yet. I guess yo, the other day I got three different scam situations in one day, and I'm like, "Yo," and I and I, and I, I fuck with them. I'll like lead them on. Like yeah. they be asking me questions. You know what I'm saying? Stupid shit trying to get more information yeah. out of you. I start telling them shit that don't make sense. Like, I be saying all kind of crazy shit just to fuck with them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Wasting yeah, time yeah. with them. Um, but, yeah, it's getting crazy. I didn't know that they was on that level. Yeah, I mean, yeah that's scary as hell. That is crazy. Because you hear somebody's voice and you're like, oh, this is this is real. Somebody with bad vision. They say, yeah, that's, that's my own. Don't know technology. Uh, don't know all the well, yeah. I don't. I have good vision. And it, just, it was her. Wow, was that's deep. Must have copied some type of FaceTime. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't just her. It was... On that girl's page, the one that's the hustler, where that gets you to that page, she had different people, and all these people were hacked people that were saying these things that they weren't saying. All co-signing, whatever the situation was. But it was, was a dumb saying. Right, 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 right. It right, was right. the same, whatever Sheesh. IT tech. I mean, the scariest thing, too, is these sex bots. This is going bad, because, <clears throat> I mean, imagine, bro, even if you went into, like, a sex bot, and this sex bot malfunctions with your cock in her mouth, and she goes, <laughs> and <try to> <laughs> That's one hundred percent possible. She was motherfucker. <laughs> She's not enjoying your fucking. Ah, yeah, I didn't enjoy your fucking dick. Nah, are you guys? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, 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 I'm with you, bro. Yo, but think of the implication to that though, like, like, and how they could use it. Like, think about like why it's happening. Is that all out the window now? Because like you could you could mimic anybody's voice to say whatever. That's where we going now. So like, is any of this shit legit anymore? Like you know what I'm saying, and then like your face, the face you said your homegirl's face. It was it was fucking her, bro. I wish I so could. Yo, they probably got AI to recognize if it, recognize if it's AI or not. They probably do, right? Something that showed up. Because like, there's always something off. Right, right, right. And you know, it's technology here. Something, something in the frequencies and yeah. the sonic frequencies and shit that like, oh yeah, this is AI for sure. Because you can also but, tell. If but, it's somebody you know closely, like a family member, right. you know how they speak, how they, you know, like right. how fast and slow they speak. They, they're not perfect. But we, but we you got scammed though, so I don't even know. We, almost, well, no, almost, he almost. He always, almost. Yeah. But like, so they, they, even that's good. We I don't know. in the infant stages though. Imagine yeah, five, yeah, exactly. 10 years from now, bro. Imagine 20 years from now. It's going to be a phone call and it's gonna sound like the person, the person that's supposed could be your fucking spouse could be your like, home, yo your best please friend. just send me this real quick tell me real quick i need this be a fake government on tv Psst. they're listening to that's us right fact, now bro. that's a fact <laughs> never see a president because the president never existed never existed it's just a fucking that TV. shit is real bro we 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 going in some dangerous weird times bro. bro yeah it's going to some real dangerous times that like who knows what this is going to be in 10 15 20 years where we can really you know, depend on a count on and say, yeah, nah, that's legit. Like, we won't even yeah. fucking know. We won't know. Yeah, state really? of, the state of address from the from the president could be... Yeah. The state of AI. The union, I mean, could be some AI. AI, AI all AI. That's uh-huh. crazy. Scary times. Yeah, it is scary too. times, bro. I just say, don't watch the news. Don't don't feed into the negativity. Politics, I don't know. Be light with it. Just be light with the right. politics. It's, right. it's it's a tricky game. You know it, You know they're, they're, they're in, yeah, all into, into money. It's all about money. Uh, Right, right, right. I just don't even pay attention to the news. I don't. Oh, I don't pay attention. Life, yeah. I, don't even, I don't even look at the the, the weather app. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't even that care what's going on in the day. I'm just living. Yeah, right. I'm just living. It's that eighty percent fucking rain and sunny. And it's sunny as a motherfucker, right? 
Could have fucking left his umbrella home. I just Yo, go I feel out. Bad for meteorologists now, like the motherfucking weatherman and shit like that. Like with technology, right? Yeah, like like that that job is obsolete yeah. at this Mr. point. G who's, is gone. Yeah, who's who's waiting for the weather the weatherman to come Mr. on? G is gone. There's a lot of there's they a lot of like jobs being taken by technology. Day, I hear that, I hear that there's they're testing McDonald's already that are fully automated. Everybody used to back in the day used to think Mexicans taking a job. Hey, it's technology. It's technology, bro. Technology now. Now it's technology. Yeah, now it's technology. It's technology. Job, bro. That you see, you go to MTA. One side doesn't have a clerk. The other side is on machines. And half the time it's saying no bill, so I gotta hop the motherfucker. Boricua! Hop in your Olympics, MTA Olympics. Here we go. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> pop up. I'll wait for somebody to open that gate. <laughs> Word. <laughs> crazy because I can't go underneath anymore. I don't <laughs> oh shit! Underneath those was ten year old days. I, I, I try to put my foot over, but that shit hit my webble hard. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth the <laughs> if it's worth the, the jump. Worth the free fare. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might have paid two seventy five. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you know, no more babies if you jump. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. Hit my way. was hard on that shit. <laughs> FTA going your way. Appreciate y'all. Free fares. Hilarious. Yo, y'all, y'all ever took like uh, one of those nice trains? What is it? Nice train? The nice ones with the nice oh, couple. Oh, I got the you, long, got The long distance ones, whatever they're called. Oh, uh, like an MTA or something there like that? There you go. The real nice one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I yeah, yeah Amtrak. That, I would like to take a, a train to Florida and try to check that out. Definitely do that. That'd be a dope Berkeley, trip. I want to live that long. Oh, like yeah, in Asia? Dope. The ones they got like in China and Japan, yeah, I think. Tokyo, like the bullet train shit. Yeah, that shit looks dope. Yeah, they go like 300 yeah. miles an hour or some shit, right? That shit's fast, bro. Yeah, bro. That shit's just crazy. Yeah, I want to do that. They got restaurants on there and shit like that. You seen the Brad Pitt film, uh, yeah, Bullet Train? train. Yeah, yeah, that shit was dope. dope. That, shit was that shit was That shit was I liked it. Again, <laughs> yeah, I liked it. I liked it. It that was really, was yo, I, I watched it in Puerto Rico. <laughs> oh, shit. With her kids. Mm. <laughs> with her kids. But, but not her. Yo, he said with, you said well, with her she kids? Home, yeah. With her kids. Not even with, <laughs> well, not even with her. <laughs> he was babysitting for the night watching Bullet Train. Man. My cousin Caleb. I love Caleb. Yo. He's autistic. I love him. He's so smart, but he's hyper. He's like, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. kicking the seat in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, you know how they be. I love you, Caleb. <laughs> um, Yo, did you see Bully Train? No, Bully I did it. It's, oh, on, it's on Netflix, it's on Netflix right? Netflix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, a good, it's a good film. I think I put on my list, but I, I, I just haven't Ritchie. given in yet. Is it Guy Ritchie? Good. Yeah. Who? Guy Ritchie? Is he the director? director? I'm not sure. I gotta look at it. Yeah, I think, it, I think it's I think amazing. It might it's be Guy Ritchie. It was put together so well. Nice. Really, really well. uh, um, yeah. Shannon, what's his name? Something, uh, Michael Shannon's in there. He plays the the guy at the end, the white wolf or white de- the death or some shit. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, he's fire, bro. bro. Remember him and um, what was he in back in the day on HBO? Carnival. He was in Carnival back in the day. I don't know yes. if you ever watched yes, Carnival. Yes, 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 Carnival yes. was fire, and he played the he played the the antagonist. He's amazing. He's a, he's a another f- next underrated level actor. And you guys don't even understand how big this yeah. guy is great at yeah. acting. He's a fucking. It's beast. like when you not when you don't have. The Brad Pitt look, yeah. or the Idris Elba look, yeah. or whatever. Your skills got to come up. Your skills got to come up. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because again, you know, the look know. can take you. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit! Oh, it might have ended. Fuck. I was still good. Should die. Oh, that was great. Ah, oh, fuck. That was a good conversation, regardless. Yeah, though. Wait, how long ago was that? I I just noticed it. Minutes. I just yeah. noticed it. Literally, just noticed it. <laughs> we, talk, we talk a lot. 